Welcome back. I'm Brittany. I'm Miranda. And again, it's week two of your progressive overload program. We are doing chest and back today. So grab yourself a mat and a bottle of water and let's work out together. Okay, today there are four supersets. Each superset will have two exercises. You'll do each exercise for 35 seconds with a 20 second rest, repeating it three times. First superset you'll recognize from last week. We're doing those push ups again. Now try to do as many as you can on your toes. Really push yourself. Grab your medium to heavy dumbbells, preferably heavier than last week. You're going to be bent over at the hips. Squeeze those shoulder blades as you pull your dumbbells up towards your armpits.
Great job. Grab a drink of water and rest here before we move on to your next two exercises. You will need your ball for both exercises. Laying on your ball, make sure your butt is lowered so you're at an incline. Dumbbells are right over your chest. Come all the way out and then bring them back together. one of those dumbbells remember you want to go heavier than you did last week laying on your ball make sure your head and your neck are supported your butt is up in a nice tabletop position pull the dumbbell all the way over your head and then all the way back above eye level
All right, stretch out those arms and grab a drink of water. You're halfway through your workout. Now time for some new exercises compared to last week. You will want medium to light pair of dumbbells for both exercises. Bent over, make sure your back is nice and flat. Hold dumbbells together right in front of your chest and then you're gonna bring the dumbbells out, really squeezing your shoulder blades. Take your dumbbells down onto the ground. You wanna come out so your elbows touch the floor. Make sure the dumbbells stay just above your chest.
last superset of the day, we are going to finish with some core. Now it will be the same exercise, right side for 35 seconds and then left side for 35 seconds. You will need your ball. Place your left hip on the ball. You wanna have your left leg out in front of you, straight, then your right knee should be bent as it's helping stabilize against the wall. Make sure you come all the way up, all the way down, really focusing on your oblique. Okay, same thing, just the other side. Again, you're gonna have your right hip on the ball. Right leg should be out nice and straight in front of you while the left leg is back with it a little bit bent so you can get some stabilization.
thank you for working out with us today. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment below, and join us for more workouts.